Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here again. Today I'm at the dam landing right here in Rochester. And these two guys on my sides entertain folks at the dam every Wednesday night. And uh, I wanted to come out. These guys are in charge of Brain Blast Trivia. And I uh, wanted to interview them and uh, kind of find out what's going on here because it is a great time if you've not been out. But uh, we'll start by introducing these guys. What's your name? Don Cheeseman. Excellent. And Scott Haney. Excellent. Now, you guys aren't from Rochester. Where are you? Let's start with where you're from. Elkhart. Elkhart. Originally West Lafayette, but okay. Elkhart now. Okay, Elkhart now. <laughs> so you guys travel all over the place with this great trivia and, and a variety of trivia games, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, talk to us about some of the places you go. Well, we're everywhere from Edwardsburg up north down to uh, Crawfordsville. We also have shows in Kokomo, Lafayette, here in Rochester, South Bend, Mishawaka, Plymouth, uh, Warsaw, Leesburg, and of course Elkhart. Okay, now uh, that means you guys are pretty much busy every night, right? Six nights a week right now. No kidding, that's great. It's a great business. Now, what got you started in this, guys? Who started, you or him? I did, Dan actually. Started. Okay, Dan, yeah, talk Don, to us. Don. Don yeah, Don, that's okay. Don, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I was a bartender at a place in Elkhart where they started doing it, and okay. I'm a big nerd, so it was just right up my alley. Jumped right into yeah. the trivia, right? And what brought you on board? Uh, well, that time, Don, Don and I were living together, and uh, he said, we got to go tr try and play this, and we did, and then a couple of weeks later, we decided to try and host, and... Little by little, we led to us buying the franchise. That is fantastic. So you cover, uh, I mean, from Crawfordsville to Edwardsburg, that's a pretty big uh, jaunt in between the two, right? Yeah, about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. So uh, a lot of traveling for you guys. Now you got a setup. They basically, uh, you set up what uh, speakers and, and whatnot? Yeah, it depends on the location here. We set up a standalone PA. Uh, lots of places we hook right into their sound system, which is really nice. Nice, nice, very good. The questions. Now, I will tell you that my team has won on a couple of occasions, but it's by it's by sheer luck most of the time. I you know uh, I guess twenty two thousand for the height of the largest uh, mountain in South America one time, and I was I was within eight hundred feet, so I got pretty close. But uh, where do you come up with the questions, guys? Because it's not just go to Google and pull them off. There's a strategy. There's a lot of thinking into these questions because they get more difficult as you go through each round. So right. talk to us about that. Well, we're actually we're a franchise, okay. and we're headquartered in uh, Franklin, Tennessee, okay. and we get all of our questions from corporate. They pay people to write questions for us. Nice. So they've got a whole research team out there looking for the tough ones, right? Yes. Very and, nice. And the great thing is, no matter where you're playing in the country, uh -huh. Same questions are used every day. Nice, nice. I like that. So does that mean I can go to Elkhart on Tuesday and then come here Wednesday? Sure, but you'll have two different sets of questions. Oh, okay, I see how it works. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, uh, you guys really seem to enjoy it, and you host very, very well. Both these guys could be a talent on any TV or radio show I've ever seen, but uh, they really entertain the folks out here at the dam. You, you uh, have a website as well, right, where folks can find out a little bit about you and where you're going to be? Yes, uh, you can either go to BrainBlasterEntertainment.com or our Facebook page, Brain Blast Trivia. Excellent, excellent. Anything else you want to tell the folks out there? We've got uh, something else coming up. We'll we talk do. to Brett here in a minute, but yep. we're going to uh, we'll kind of announce it here. What's going on uh, this summer here at the dam? Just like last summer on Sundays, uh, I think it was 5 o'clock we ran um, Opinionation, which is a buzz time game, and it is survey questions. So we're asking Family Feud style questions, and teams will turn in one answer per team, and they'll get points based on what answer they turn in. Excellent. Good answer. Good answer. Does that mean you're going to kiss a lot of people like Richard Dawson? Uh, not in this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. It didn't work, can we? Well, very good. Well, that's coming up this summer. Again, we'll talk to Brett, the owner, out here at the uh, Dam Landing in Rochester. But I have a lot of fun, and I wanted to get you guys on camera and, and kind of express to the folks here in Fulton County. And, gosh, we're, we're growing as well. We're now up in Marshall County as well as down in Cass County. And Kosciuszko County, they just keep adding. So uh, hopefully you folks will come over here to the dam landing in Rochester right on the lake. The sun's out finally. It's been a long April. But uh, come on over here and uh, meet the guys from Brain Blast. Brain C. I, I, I know. It's a I, mouthful. It is a mouthful. Try and say it. To qualify, you have to say it 10 times really <laughs> fast. No, just kidding. Brain Blast Trivia. And uh, you guys appreciate all you do. Thanks all right. so much. Thank you, Todd. All right. We'll have, uh, we'll have Brett here in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll follow up and see how it's affecting the business here at the Dam Landing. Okay. Hey, we've got him now. Uh, this man's always busy. He's running a restaurant. It's not a, it's not a slow down and stop and talk to the guy with the microphone kind of day. But uh, had some fun with Brett here. And uh, tell everybody your name, first of all. Uh, Brett Lukens on the Dam Landing here. 
Yes. Um, you started here as a bartender years ago, right? Yeah, so my family owned it uh, before myself, and I came here to bartend, did that for about three years, and uh, fell in love with the industry, and it was the next logical choice to take over, so here we are now. I get it. Now it's a labor of love, the restaurant yeah. business, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, he's working hard out here all the time, and... Uh, i become a, a reacquainted, I guess, with the dam on Wednesday nights. We're having a lot of fun out here uh, doing the trivia. Talked to the guys a few minutes ago, but uh, from the business owner perspective, how's this doing for you? Oh, it's awesome. Um, so I, I was introduced to it um, as a customer side in my college days. Gotcha. Uh, a group of my friends and I, we'd always go to bars, we'd, we'd, we'd play, and it became like a routine just like much of our customer base, um, we see a lot of regulars every Wednesday reserve the same table. Um, it, it just provides a social interaction. You're, you're engaging with your family, your friends, and not only that, you're doing something productive, and then you, you sort of form this rivalry amongst the other regulars, and it's just, it's, it's an hour out of everybody's busy schedule to kind of just get rid of the stress and, and have fun and just have good food and drink and, and, and be happy. Well, it's a great midweek thing for me. I'll tell you what. Um, Wednesday nights come out here, and it's only an hour. Yep, and short we, and sweet. Yep. Yeah. Now, uh, you also, not only on the bar side, but you also, it's open up for the entire restaurant. Families are coming in now. Yeah, right? so it's, it's family, uh, absolutely. And then also here in a, in a few weeks, weather permitting, we actually broadcast it outside too. And, and we'll have full service out on the patio uh, whenever Mother Nature allows us to do so. But, uh, it's been a tough April, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Somebody told me, you know it's spring when the dam finally opens the garage door, Yeah, right? exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Well, very neat. Now, you've got something else coming up yet this summer, kind of a special uh, trivia thing. What is that all about? So every summer, in addition to the, the normal Wednesday trivia at 7, we also do Opinionation, um, which in my opinion, I, I think it's just as fun. You know, yeah. it's, it's a family feud style game, yeah. so it's survey-based answers. Um, it's Sunday at 5, so it's a little earlier. We all know people have to regroup on Sunday night for, for the work week, so we do it a little bit earlier. It's just as fun, and it's actually more family-oriented uh, just because there's no right or wrong answer, right. so kids can really participate on, on that day. Well, that's great. That's a lot of fun. A lot of great things happening here. You've got a new website as well. Tell everybody what that is. Yep, just uh, the damn landing, rochester.com, uh, so we're getting into the social media advertising world, and we'll be broadcasting or uh, uh, posting events because um, we're getting to the, the point where we want – some events like this throughout the week yes. not just on one day a week sure. but uh, just some cool things to do and something different for for our customer base to enjoy excellent we'll check it out that's damnlandingrochester.com yep. yep great great well brett lucan's here doing great work for you he's one of these uh folks we like to shine a spotlight on for bringing great food great entertainment and a beautiful view here in rochester Absolutely, so yes. Thanks for tuning in. Get out here to the dam and enjoy one of these Wednesday night trivias. But I will tell you, get here early and reserve your table. Thanks again. All right, thanks.